All right, let's let's do let's look at this though. This is hard body, okay? This is hard body. This is hard body. Straight up. North Korea releases highly stylized video of the latest missile test. Bro, they're doing slow mo, dude. They're literally oh doing goodness. slow mo. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, dude. I am I am taking it back. I I I've, I've criticized like Jusha supporters and Jusha defenders in the past. Like you guys know what my takes on North Korea are. It's not it's actually a nation that has been absolutely fucking destroyed by Western powers. Uh, they are basically functionally a buffer zone for China, okay, at this stage. But uh, honestly, I mean, you know, and the sanctions first and foremost, obviously. Uh, and and they've uh, they've been able to they've been able to legitimately improve given all of the fucking odds. However, it's still pretty much functionally a theocratic monarchy, uh, and and not even remotely Marxist Leninist. So. Let's be fucking real about that. But my opinions is changing. My opinions are changing on it. Because uh, this kind of cool. North Korean television has broadcast the country's latest massive missile test with a feature film style editing. Just play the, just play the hit, dude. The Hwasan-17 is North Korea's largest intercontinental ballistic missile and is capable of reaching the United States. The new propaganda film features edited shots of leader Kim Jong Un preparing to observe the missile launch. No, I want the I want the real one. I don't want this fucking stylized bullshit. I want the real stylized bullshit. Okay. Where is the original? Does anyone have the link to the original? Because like fucking Western media, dude, Western degenerates, these fucking Yo, Western counter-revolutionary degenerate freaks ruined yet another great cut. Okay. Fuck them. Fuck them. All right, let's watch this. Let's watch the OG shit. This is the first time in seven months that TTS was on. 13 months on the four year anniversary. As the TTW pilot, we have the my man said, hey, my man said it's boom o'clock, dude. Hey, hey, what's that, dude? Hey, yo, do you know what time it is? It's time to get blasted, dude. Let's go. Yo, it's time to get my money up. Time to get... Oh, no. 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 He didn't take the shades off. He didn't take the shades off. Oh, he had to do it to him. He had to do it to him. He's doing it so cold. Why is he so cold? Why is he? Oh, no, dude. What the fuck? Yo, dude, dude, stop. 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 We got to run that again. What? Yo, dude, this is fucking crazy. Dude, this literally is like me and the homies found... The, me and the homies made an edit on, like, the Windows Movie Editor, okay? <laughs> this is literally like... <laughs> this is like a like a fun little project you would do at high school, okay? By yourself with the, with the friends, with the boys. Oh! Oh! The walk, the step back. Oh, he's still checking the time. He said, I ain't got no time for this. And then the general's like, I'm checking time too. He's like, nah, no, you're not. No, you're not, motherfucker. I checked the time. It's just me. Look, look, he looked at him like, you know what time it is? And the general's like, do I check the time too? And he was like, no, bitch. Put your fucking hand down. That's my thing. Well, fuck you up, dude. Oh! Oh! Dude, I know, like, I mean, as a foreign language speaker, obviously, like, I know that it sounds really aggressive when I speak in Turkish to Americans, right? I don't know what it is. I've listened to people, like, I've listened to people in Korea speak Korean, okay? But for some reason, anytime I listen to, like, North Korean news, it is so 
They are so fucking angry, dude. It sounds so angry. I know it's not a microaggression, okay? It's just North Korean state news is like the the way that they fucking pronounce some words. I'm just like, damn, I don't know what they're saying, but shit is damn. fucked up. Okay? Uh, they're going to they're going to fuck me up, dude. <laughs> Straight up. They are there's something going on and I don't know what it is, but it's very serious. Utmost seriousness, okay? Like look at that. My man said, I don't know what he said, but the way he said it is just, it's, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what he's about to say, but he's like, Brazil, I'm coming for you. Okay. He just dropped it. He's gonna nuke LA specifically because of the VOD? Dude, I'm happy with that. I'm good. What is going on? Dude, come on, dude. Are you serious? Bro, this is going to destroy the West. Anyone that sees this is immediately on North Korea's side. The Democratic People's Republic's side, okay? People about to be like, no, I'm Jusha. Like, it's over. You can't let, you know, Western teenagers see this. They are going to become Korea boos, but not for K-pop. Not for that... You know, South Korean capitalist shit. They're gonna straight up be like, no, actually, Jusha is, is, is upholding the values of of true yeah, Marxist Leninism. Brain rot. Okay. This is crazy. This, I got chills, dude. I want this new. I would be honored to die at the hands of this. Okay, nuclear strike. It's Juche, by the way. Juche. Okay. In order to make the rocket launch, like eight dudes have to yell in unison. When, when have you seen this kind of excitement in your life? When have you experienced this kind of excitement? Look at how excited these guys are, bro. They're having so much fun. They're like, yeah, let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Look at that. I mean, homies are just chilling, dude. They are having the fucking time of their lives. American nerd scientists. They, what do they do? They sit in a fucking launch facility in New Mexico and they're like, eh, uh, the oh no, song. we're going to fucking destroy the purpose. water supply of like some, you know, reservation uh, because we just accidentally launched a nuke. Oh no. Meanwhile, fucking chat ass North Koreans are like, let's go. Let's go. We got another fucking ICBM boys. We fucking we finally yes. did. Yeah, they do, they do have airsoft weeb energy. They, they look like they're having so much fun. They should be able to have some fun, okay? They should be able to. That's all I'm saying is North Koreans should be allowed to have fun. And if this is the way they're having fun, I will not, <laughs> I will not elaborate, okay? If this is how they're having fun, they're allowed to. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's awesome. Over under on 12 guns being pointed at these dudes off camera. Dude, it's not like that. Like, I'm sure some of these dudes are like actually fucking, you know, they're happy. Like, there's probably underlying fear. But Western media has like broken your brain. They're not like, dude, you have to be happy or else we're going to kill you. That's hot. Honestly, the one who was probably shitting bricks is the general. Why? Because if this launch doesn't go according to, uh, you know, expectations, after they cut this film, the only thing they're cutting is not going to be the film, if you know what I mean. Ooh! Ooh, look at that! Ooh Spread through your red social new brain. 
공화국에서는 우리 공화국의 전략적 지위를 온 세상에 힘 있게 과시하는 데 공헌한 전투원들과 주요 국방 Much respect to the Democratic People's Republic. Okay, they're fucking. They're out here. They're <laughs> they're out here. They're trying their best. They're having fun. What else? Not a phone in sight. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Just hanging out with the fucking boys. Not a single phone in sight. Do you see that? That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what the future vibes are supposed to be. Just all of the homies launching intercontinental ballistic missiles, okay? Straight up. Just guys being dudes, you know, no, no women to ruin the fun. Oh, don't fucking, you know, don't show that you have, uh, you know, strike distance capabilities to the Western world so they never actually end up releasing the sanctions. Like, none of that. None of that bullshit. You know, dudes rock 2022 through and through. Okay. Nice. They're having fun. Bet they're going to, you know, bet, bet, bet the meat allocation is going to increase uh, for the boys after this. You know what I mean? They're going to, they're going to have some fun there too. It's great. It's fun. They're having fun. They should be allowed to have some fun. You know, they're fucking, our life is pretty much hell every day. Young regardless. Brits on the four years. Launching nukes is so much more fun when there ain't a bitch in your ear telling you how bad it is. <laughs> oh, it's like little Caesar's pizza, dude. Yeah, this guy gets it. He gets it. He's right. That's precisely what I'm saying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um... They specifically made it look like a Pogger's Marvel movie. Western culture is cooked now. Dude, they're, they really, they've been working on their strike capabilities, but they should have been working on their editing capabilities, which is ironic considering Kim Jong, uh, Kim Jong Il was like literally a fucking, you know, movie buff, movie head, kind of rose to prominence uh, over everybody else in the family due to his like interest in cutting Western propaganda. But uh, I, I, his son, on the other hand, uh, not so great, I think. Uh, you know, Un, not doing the best. Son is a bit of a dud. <laughs> yeah, his, his son doesn't really get it too well. Also, isn't dead yet. So, you know what I'm talking about? Like, everybody always is like, oh, he's dead, he's dead, he died, he died again, he died again. It's like, no, motherfucker. This family, first of all, the Kims are born with gout. Okay, they eat way too much Gouda to not have gout across the board. They have found the first, it's the first ever like transferable uh, instance of, of gout being like a genetic disability that is hereditary in the Kim family. Okay, so they're already like, you know, they're surviving and thriving. Okay, he lost a lot of weight during COVID. Everybody was gaining the COVID-15. Uh, and Kim Jong-un, on the other hand, was get, losing the COVID-15. He, he put on 15 pounds of muscle. And then he gained it back, though. He, he had actually lost a lot of weight, but he gained it back. It's not, you know. But at least the country is glowing up. Half my family is genetic gout, you asshole. Wait, really? I thought it was like gout was like diabetes. Or, well, not diabetes. Uh, uh, the, the, the one that is like hereditary. But diabetes that you have a, a higher likelihood of getting later on in life and same with gout i didn't i didn't think you could like actually literally have gout since birth 15 months strong let's go like there's two types of diabetes right and the type that isn't genetic the type that isn't genetic in diabetes you can still have a genetic uh uh proclivity to get uh diabetes like i have that like my family all is is diabetes is diabetic um, and with gout, I thought it was like, kind of like that. Gout is usually an older person later on, but there can be genetic causes. I'm a med student. It's a combination of genetics and environmental factors. I guess gout is very similar to, to diabetes in that way. Gout is a disease of fork. Too much alcohol, white flour, standard American diet. 
No, I thought you got gout from like rich uh, Seven, fats. Two more until I can carry my brain rot to term. Anyway, let's you continue. <laughs> Wait, is someone holding him? Oh my god, this guy's literally holding him. Whoa, that's crazy. What do you think's going on there? Can we talk about that for a second? Getting back to what's happening here? What, what do you think this is? You think they're fucking? Like, what's happening there? Now, not to be too parasocial with Kim. Like, I hate shipping culture. I hate being parasocial. But, like... What's happening there? You think there's a little bit more to, to this or what? I wish I could hold him like that, honestly. I mean, I would hold him harder than that. I don't remember this scene from the interview. If you had an opportunity to hug Kim Jong-un, what, you wouldn't take it? I would 100% take it. I'm just going to be honest with you. Straight up. Think about it, dude. You, you get to hug Let's him. Go. Like, full hug, okay? Because I, I just want to know. I want to know what, what it's about. But it is crazy that he's just, like, touching him. That is wild. You just got yourself added to, like, five watch lists? Yeah, watch lists for... Yeah, the only watch list I care about is the North Korean... Is the Democratic People's Republic's watch list of, you know, hottest Twitch streamers to watch that want to hug Kim Jong-un. That's the list I want to be on. The lion of the Korean Peninsula, watch your tongue. Exactly, dude. Now. What do you mean? Um, I feel like he has the capabilities of being a really good hugger. Like, anyway. He's so aggressive. He needs someone to hold him back 24-7. He's like, yeah, hold me back. Even when I'm smiling, I'm capable to do some shit. You know what I mean? Yo, when I'm fucked up, that's the real me, dude. That's the real me, son. Let's go. Let's go. You don't want to hug South Korea's new incel president? No, I don't want to hug him. He's like crusty and fucking wiry. Uh, I'm not interested in him. He's, he's not cool. He's like a regular fucking boring capitalist. At least this guy's like... A theocratic monarch, you know what I mean? Like an authoritarian. He's like a weird. That's at least he's at least interesting. The other psycho I've I've seen a million versions of. Okay, oh uh, yeah, let's abolish the fucking minimum wage. Like, oh sick, really new stuff, man. Y you're killing it. How about something more interesting? Like, talk to me oh, when you were right. launching, you know, ICBMs and shit for fun. He's, they're not Marxist Leninists. Stop saying they're Marxist Leninists. They have not been Marxist Leninists for some time now, okay? Well, Hasanabi, a communist drawn to an authoritarian, what else is new? <laughs> what the, the irony of this statement is that, like, both this dude. And also, many capitalist leaders are authoritarian in nature. I just think that this is at least, like, more interesting. <laughs> and also, I'm joking. I love the person. This is Jusha holds up Marxist Leninist ideology. They literally do not. They do not. They do not. They do not. You are unironically just like, oh, they're anti-America. So, like, they must uphold Marxist Leninist ideology. They just don't. They don't. They don't. They straight up don't. They don't even say that they do, okay? It's like they... Like... Jusha is more self-reliance and less Marxist-Leninism uh, now, okay? Stop. Stop with this nonsense. Hey. The video is over now. Uh, but, but if you enjoyed that, why don't you like comment and subscribe uh and, and if you want to see more of that just go uh well, well youtube's got it around here somewhere <laughs>